Okay, so we are back in Namur, 1998, 99. If you remember, I told you that I had to go to the boarding school, sleep the weekend at my grandma. Well, things, things changed and I was 16, I had my first girlfriend. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind, please. Yeah, there. 1998, 99. So I made a video the other day, released it, watched it again, and I have to be honest with myself. I don't like it. Not the way it is. I like the images I show, but not the story I tell. I didn't take into account the lessons I've learned. Right now, in 2021, I'm not at a place where I can tell my story with sadness. So let me explain you the concept of unlabeled with other words. I chose the word unlabeled back in 2000. Had thoughts about meaning of life and self-awareness. That's why the quote of unlabeled is, there's not enough words to define unique people. What I wanted was a brand that doesn't judge anyone for the sport they practice and doesn't focus on performance, but well-being and longevity, with performance being the result of a healthy environment. Finding our inner peace in sport, art and music. The good thing in Namur, it was the synergy between all the people that were like, you could make a session with a skateboarder and it was super cool. Like everybody knew each other and um, that's something that kind of like um, shaped, I would say, the unlabeled project is the fact that my own brother is a skateboarder and a really good one actually. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure, there used to be a lot of pressure around this, like the fact that your brother is a blader, like it, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, it's things that you cannot control and uh, it's kind of like uh, something that I wanted to change with unlabeled. I wanted to have a brand where everyone can do whatever they want. That's why I don't like to, I don't like to bash the scooters or or the girls or whatever. I don't like to bash people for just to fit in. I don't like to fit in just because I need to fit in. I don't like this. That was the thing that I was really done with. Judging people all the time. I don't like this. You need to sometimes, yeah, you, you definitely need to protect yourself from some people. There's evil people out there, like, let's be honest. But there's too many labels also. I was trying to be an engineer. I was clean. It was only me, my girlfriend and skating, basically. And people were finding a way to demonize what I was. And I was like, I'm done with that. I used to practice a lot of skiing, snowboarding, uh, a bit of skateboarding, uh, inline skating, BMX, whatever it is. But I love all the sports, even judo. So that was the good part of the story. Now, I can explain you a bit more about how it went down. A lesson learned with different stories we face. We need to get control of our own destiny because many brands can and will leave you with nothing from one day to the next. And that's why I built something for the short and long term. Easier said than done. Looks cute on paper. In reality, it means we need a lot of discipline. Respect for schedules, working hours, placing our project in priority. Avoid losing time in meaningless behaviors for everyone to thrive in the industry. And I'm sorry for the ones I hurt with discipline, but some situations are black or white. You win or you lose, and once the game is over, it's over. I went to Andrex Skate Park, didn't warm enough my knee, and I've shredded my meniscus. That injury has been a break into my evolution. I didn't want to get a surgery, but I had to. Now the surgery, if I had a surgery, I had to stop skating for six months. I didn't want to stop skating for six months, but every time that I had some issue with the meniscus, I was locked for two weeks and my girlfriend was getting pissed for, you know, many different reasons that you can understand. And there was a lot, lot, lot of pressure regarding the injuries and the family, her family, so not my family, my family doesn't you know, whatever I do, it, it doesn't matter for them, it's, it's fine, it's cool, like they're used to extreme sports. Her family and herself were beginning to tell me, hey, at 30, you have to stop skating. Skating is the way I breathe. I breathe skating, I think skating, I dream skating. My, my dreams back then 
were to move to a place like San Diego, any place where I could really skate basically. Just learn to skate and enjoy and I wanted to see the sun. Belgium is not the best place I would say in terms of weather, I think it's well known. If you like waffles, yeah maybe and chocolate, but that's it. I think we still have decent skate parks, but yeah, decent. I was living into a universe where I was already somewhere else. A lot of pressure for me, but I was still I was still okay to bear that um, pressure until the day that she, she basically left me. That was hard to live. It was an era of What happened is I became a music video director. I've set up my business. It wasn't paying enough. So I realized I had nothing to give anymore to Belgium. Like I didn't even want. I come from Germany. I love skiing, snowboarding. I ever want to live in the mountain so I can ski and snowboard. Or I want to live under the sun so I can skate. For the productions, we began to travel a lot to Peru, Chile, Bolivia. And it was great. Like I loved it. I really liked it. Now when I came back, I realized I didn't want to stay in Belgium anymore. I was like, we have other options. Why should I stay here? I didn't even want to be here in the first place. I like the friends that I have there. There are some aspects of it which are still cool, but I still like. But I've never been, you know, I was born in France from a Belgian mother and a Czechish dad, living in Germany with my grandma in Austria. In Germany, I was a French guy. In Belgium, I was the German guy or the Czechish guy. I've never been like attached to any nationality or any country or... And I, I've counted once. I moved 32 times in my life. The blading is the one that makes me, like I said, really feel alive. That's the one where I can, I can be fully myself. But music also. I think music is one of, of those um, and dancing. Looking back in time, I think it's not too much uh, a surprise that I began to do Unlabeled. And I think I also realized that back then, if there were more girls skating, maybe mentalities would have been different. So that's also a reason why I do Unlabeled Girls. I don't like the idea that skating is an issue. It's not the issue. It's just another sport and if people don't understand it, I'm sorry for them. But it's a great sport, especially for women. Uh, it's, it makes a great addition to the lifestyle of fitness, for example. Or It makes them move, it makes them feel great. And you can see it on, on, on girls' face when they skate. They're always happy, enjoying, smiling, laughing. And that's one thing that I really, really want for people in blading is enjoy the time because people don't know what you feel do the things that you really want to do i always go back to this stay free stay free and it's your life so go for it whatever you want to do go for it you have one life you have one shot so you know what you have to do that's all i had to say and i could go on for hours at the end of the day someone has to make it happen for unlabeled and i'm in charge so i'll go back to editing and i see you in the next video. Peace.